Hello everybody, this is Mr. Everything, and I'm coming at you with an exciting little video about the Buffalo, the F2. Uh, this is Thatch's Buffalo. This is the battle rating 1.3. Uh, it's 1.3 because it's premium. Normally, the non-premium version of this plane is 1.7, if I remember right. So, uh, I'm flying in the Bastogne, uh, you know, low tier, low battle rating match. Uh, and uh, there's quite a bit of, like, uh, excitement. You know, I want to sit back and just let you watch me play uh, and not give you commentary and just fill your ears full of BS. But I know that there's a lot of people out there that prefer to hear the pilot talk about what he's doing. Well, let me tell you what I'm doing. I am climbing, of course. Uh, and I'm not technically, I, I guess I am technically side climbing, but that's not what I'm doing because I hate side climbers. What I'm doing is I'm climbing towards our two bases right there that you can see to my front because I anticipate some German bombers flying over there and bombing those bases. And to prevent this from happening, I am flying towards the sun, you know, basically flying towards these bases, trying to intercept these bombers. That is my goal. That's why I'm going off to the left. I'm keeping an eye out. I'm looking around. I've passed one base, haven't seen the enemy. Uh, if you notice, we've got quite a few P-26s in this match. Uh, and there we go. There's uh, an HE-111 and a JU-87. Um, so I'm climbing up to go after this HE-111. Uh, I'm thinking he's going to get to the bases, or he's already bombed the bases. As you can see, the bases are damaged. Uh, before I'm able to actually get there. But I still chase after him. Then I notice that there's quite a few fighters down to my 2 o'clock low, and they are getting ready to engage my team. And I think they're outgunned because I see HE 112s, I see BF 109s. And so I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm going to chase this HE-111, but my team might need me. So, um, and this guy is so high, he's turned around. It's going to be kind of hard. Maybe he's turning, maybe he's going to come down. I'm losing too much speed trying to get up to his altitude. Uh, if War Thunder has modeled the atmosphere correctly in Bastogne, where it would be freezing, the uh, air would be thinner, and so it would be harder for you to climb. So I say, okay, screw it. I'm going to go help these guys out, help my P-26 slash Nimrod guys out. I see the CR-42. I cut the engine because I know I'm getting ready to go straight down onto him and I don't want to not be able to pull out and run into the ground. So I'm right behind him and I'm good. Oh, he, what? He, oh, really? Okay. I hear some sound. I don't know who that is. It might be me, but uh, I look around, don't see anything. So I decide, okay, throttle back up, get a little bit of altitude. I'm kind of looking around. I see the 87 in the middle of all those fighters. I, I lost the HE-111, don't know where it is. Don't care, because he's really way too high for me to go after. So, I say to myself... All the glory is in Bastogne. I need to get in there and get me some of that glory. So, I'm looking around trying to pick my target. I like the I like the 87, the JU87, but I don't want to get owned by a fighter while I'm trying to kill that 87. So I'm looking around. I don't know who I'm going to go after yet until I make a decision. It looks like this MC200 looks like the one I want to go after. Okay, I might overshoot him. So I decide, let's go after the 87. 
I got a hit. That's about it. Nothing major. And then there's this 109 behind me. Okay. Here we go. We're in it. We're in it now. Oh, that's one. Okay. This 109 really wants me bad. What am I going to do? I think I'll just loop de loop. Loop de loop. And I say, screw it. He can have the loop. I'm going to go after this 87. And that's number two. Okay, who's this? An MC200? That's probably the one I was going after originally. Uh, but if you notice, I am not really sticking on these guys. I'm kind of taking a shot at one and moving on to another one. Okay, I got a little crit there. Got some hits on this guy. And that's number three. I think you can see the damage to my plane. I've got a little bit of tail, a little bit of gas damage. I think that's my gas tank. Looking around. See this Nimrod flying around. I see nobody else really flying around in this area except for that 112 uh, yeah he's close enough I could probably go after him let's turn this crate around see if I can't maybe these p26s will bring him down great he's coming he's diving down on us I'm trying to avoid getting shot and then he decided to go back to the climb a boom oh, that was a bad shot okay he's coming he's diving down while I'm climbing I'm stalling using a little rudder action here check that out boom almost a 90 degree I love me some rudders okay so he's flying straight and level nope he's diving Am I going to catch him? The distance is too far. Uh, no. I'll go after this guy. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Winter nines are known to be pretty fast, but he's kind of not going straight. Well, he is kind of going straight into the dirt okay sorry all right so three kills doesn't look like there's many left maybe the 112 maybe that 111 still flying around up high i don't know what he's doing so i think it's time to go back to base my ammo is getting low uh i don't know where the base is there it is i think that's it over there so here i go i'm gonna let this the rest of the team deal with that one plane so let's fast forward till when I land. There we go. I throttled it down, probably at around 50% throttle. I realize that's not slow enough. I need to throttle down more. Try to keep my nose up, but allow my altitude to drop. Speed's getting low enough, it could probably drop the gear. Gave up on the throttle. Zero percent. Speed, gear, flaps. And everybody else is coming back to land too. Okay, well I'm starting to go pretty slow. I'm at 100 miles per hour, so I think I might need to bring that up a little bit. I like to land at about 120 to 140. So let's go ahead and uh, throttle up a little bit. Even nosing down didn't speed me up. These landing flaps really slow you down. Okay. 
Okay, slowly starting to speed up, and I'm thinking, I'm okay. This thing's got a pretty good glide angle. Cut the throttle, nose it up, watch it kind of pancake into the airfield. And then I guess I should apply brakes. There you go. Braking. Breaking, breaking, breaking. Okay, so now let's speed up until after I take back off and approach the enemy. Okay, we're in the air. There's, an, there's two AT-112s right there. You see one Peekaboom and Mega... Der, Mag... Megadder, maybe? Megadder. Megadder, Megadder, Megadder. I don't know. So, <laughs> so we're going after him. He's attacking the ground targets. Not cool. So... And he's closer. He's only three clicks away, so, you know. Uh, looking around, I do see I got a little support down to the bottom left. Figured we'd do a little scissor action, so I move a little bit. Try to move to the right, but since HE-112 is also going to the right, it's almost like the perfect glide path to get to him. Okay, he's blowing up all kinds of ground targets. Now, there is a P-26 over there fighting that peekaboom, and he's like all by himself over there. Um, I would think the HE-112 would take him out pretty quickly. Oh, he undercut me there. That was good. So, I'm doing the climb, split us, to help slow me down and then get me on his tail. Okay, P-26A, you should be able to get him. Maybe not. Okay, that was, those are all bad shots. Try not to hit the P-26. Okay. Also, climb, split S. Some people like to call it a half loop. I am shooting way behind. According to this replay, I'm shooting way behind the guy. But it, what I remember was I was shooting him. But, you know, that was a couple of days ago. So <laughs> you always remember better things. Okay, so it looks like he's sucking. He's, he's leaking something, probably water. Um, he's in a dive, trying to avoid us, trying to get us to do something stupid. And in turn, he's trying to get me to run into a tree, and then he runs into a tree. So that's number four. Okay, so now I realize that Peekaboom's the last guy, and uh, this P-26 over there is all by himself. So I need to get over there and help him, but again, he's really far away. I call out and say, you know, come this way, bring him this way, or something like that, but it goes up, and, and I think he does do that and I think that's his downfall because by by flying towards us it allowed the HE-112 to get on his tail and get a clear shot so I I think the P-26 probably should have continued his turn fight dog fight on his own just let us come over there um, we might have participated in his downfall and that's our fault but here we go Okay, seven clicks. I'm gaining a little altitude uh, so that when I do engage, I'll have more energy. And I'm thinking that P-26 is going to be just fine. He's going to be able to take him out. HE-112 is a pretty awesome little creature because I've played the Germans for a little while, and I played the AT-112s, and I really did like them. I played them mostly in arcade, though. Okay, there he goes. P-26 flying straight, trying to get away. AT-112 on his tail. I decide, okay, it's time to roll it over. Nose it down. Get down there. 
and I rolled a little too soon. So I'm gonna kind of roll it over again, get behind him, get behind cannon fodder there. We're all behind him. I can't get any good shots. What am I waiting for? I don't know. I'm waiting for a good shot. Got a hit. I'm, I'm doing ammo conservation right now. Crap. I'm going way too fast for this dude. So I'm trying to nose it up to slow myself down. Now you notice the P26s, both of them, they're on his tail. There we go. We got some water right there. Water. Got some water spray on my windshield. I'm, and there's number five. That took him out. That's what we like to call ace in a mission. That's right, ace in a mission. All right, thanks for coming out and checking out this uh, playthrough of War Thunder with my Buffalo. And uh, if you're interested in a War Thunder squadron, you should come check out the one NAS. We're the first naval aerospace, or that's in that's in Star Citizen, the first naval air squadron in War Thunder. And uh, we are growing steadily every day. So come check us out. We have a website, 1nas.engine.com. And yep, I was number one. All right, thanks.